Hello Leos, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. What I would say is, um, move forward with objectivity, okay? This is a time for you to touch bases, to um, cover all your bases, and at the same time ask questions. Like, ask questions, ask follow-up questions, behave as if you're um, the prosecutor, you know, ask all those important questions in order for you to move forward. Because what I'm sensing is a lot of you, and this is coming up in the uh, at the beginning of the spread, so it's telling me a lot of you, you know, like decision time is happening right now and you're going to go into it like head first without all the preparation without proper gear, without proper equipment, and you're diving into it head first, okay? So please don't do that. Um, the energy is telling you, you know, it is decision time, but at the same time, slow down, slow down, get all the equipment together. This is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, which is not a, um, I would say, by itself, without the world here, it's not a good card to get in the reverse position just because it tells me timing is not right. So what I'm reading this as is um, it can be two ways. It can manifest in two ways, and I hope that, you know, one of these ways would resonate with you. So either one, you feel as if you have all the information and you're... Um, you're basically provoked to action without all the information that you need. There's a lot of information floating around out there, but the information that you really need, you don't have yet. And yet, at the same time, you're going to go for it, which is not a really good thing for you long term. Okay? So the second way in which this could come out is um, you have all the important information that you need, and you're going to go dive in head first. However, it's telling me to tell you to slow down because the Wheel of Fortune, what it is, is that um, you have to plan this out very meticulously to get the outcome that you wish. All right? So corroborating with this is the King of Swords, which is a very discerning energy. And like I said, you know, ask those important questions. You know, ask all the nitty-gritty detail because those things are going to be very instrumental in you getting the outcome that you prefer. So um, the Wheel of Fortune deals with like um, a lot of karma. It's also dealing with um, when the Wheel of Fortune is inverted, it means like the opportunity f to resolve issues from your past is definitely there. So in light of this, a lot of new information have surfaced regarding people, work situation, friendships, or, you know, whomever you've dealing with, you've been dealing with, and there, where there wasn't, like, full access to information from your part. This is telling me that um, situations from the past need to be dealt with so that you can move forward, okay? So if you look at this Knight of Wands, I'm reading this as you guys, uh, male or female, this is you guys. Um... It's reverse, so, you know, uh, the person is moving forward rather than resolving issues from the past. And the Wheel of Fortune is I, is telling you, A, slow down, <clears throat> and then two, you have this really good opportunity to resolve issues from the past. Therefore, it's really important for you to, you know, cycle back, like go back, so that you can um, resolve those issues and in the process of, you know, resolution, you actually have a lot more um, knowledge, a lot, you're a lot more prepared to tackle things in the future. So, I would definitely say, you know, Wheel of Fortune, the reverse position, there's definitely been, like, miscommunication, misinformation, um, and also, you know, lack of access to good, important information in the past that definitely needs to be dealt with before you can proceed, okay? So in situations like this, I would imagine um, this is also, you know, backward looking as well. So let's see here. Well, <clears throat> if you're dealing with an air sign as well, uh, if a lot of you have been like in work situation, friendships, relationships with an air sign, this is definitely, you know, if, if you've had like a falling out especially, this is a situation that will allow you to, you know, for that cycle to, for that um, opportunity to open up in order for you both to reconcile, okay? Because um, I feel that within the recent past, 
you know, the person might not have been honest or there might have been like miscommunication. And now the cycle is um, the, the opportunity, the door is open for you to resolve this issue so that you can move forward with your life and, you know, enjoy the abundance that is out there. So you can like, it, it will actually provide a lot of healing for you to move forward so that you're not dragged down by, you know, emotional baggage from the past, okay? And this itself is, um, it's a situation in which, okay, so for those of you who have had that situation in the past, you're like so anxious to leave it all behind you and move forward. This is actually telling you that, no, there's, um, there's something else you're supposed to learn, so looking at the past and shedding light on it and really analyzing it in a very objective way would be beneficial for your growth in general. So um, if it is a work project, it's definitely, you know, like, I, I feel that if it is a work re uh, situation, it's going to benefit you really, really greatly to take a look back at this past situation that hadn't worked out. And then um, even like, even like, um, I would say reintroducing projects from the past that has never worked out because now the time is right for them to, you know, be implemented in the real world. So, you know, take that into account as well. If it's a work, um, if it's a project at work or a work relationship that didn't work out in the past, the um, avenues are now open for them to be re-implemented in the current situation, okay? Especially for this month. Okay. So let's move on to the next card. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse position. So this is also indicative of decision time, you know. The period of mourning, of rest, of, um, I guess, uh, restocking is over. So now it's time for action, okay? So I would say please, please, please take the opportunity to resolve past issues so that Come the middle of the month, you can be in this situation where you're, you're, you feel like really equipped to move forward, okay? So that period of rest, <clears throat> that period of um, that cycle of like um, conflict resolution and all of that is, um, is actually ending and you're going to have to move forward and you're going to hit the ground running. That's what I'm sensing with the energy here. So you're going to hit the ground running. So it's really important for you to... Um, I guess, like, be well equipped in order for this kinetic energy to kick in the second half of the month is very vital for you to get all the rest that you need because you're going to be very, very busy, okay? You're going to be in high demand as well, is what I'm sensing. Well, this card fell out. Let's put it in the end. Okay, very nice. So I, I was touching the deck. That card fell out. So let's leave that there and talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so next to the four of uh, swords in the reverse position, we do have the world, which is a really, really abundant, um, very optimistic card. This is a card of expansion, but at the same time, this is what I also told um, the previous sign too. This is about expansion, but within the, the, the right uh, framework, okay? So establishing that framework first, the wreaths and the laurels and all of that, and then expand within the framework that you want, okay? But it's very important to have that basis first and then know like how to, where to channel your energy so that you're concentrated but you're still like expanding rather than being like overreaching yourself, expanding past your limits, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So it's really important not to expand yourself past your limits just because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse position and it's on top of this card. That would be like detrimental to this abundant energy that is coming in this year. It would be like wasting it and it would be like, um, uh, yeah, throwing away like good opportunities, I guess, because you're scattered too wide, like you're too stretch you stretch beyond your limits you don't want to do that and I do feel though um, a lot of you are actually going to take on more than you can um, handle so this deals with sleepless nights and this is um it could be a you know a lot of anxiety regarding projects regarding people regarding relationships um, the way that I'm seeing this play out within an interpersonal relationship is that um, somebody might have been like very harsh with their words. Somebody you're dealing with on you know some type of like interpersonal relationship capacity is being very hurtful with their words. Um, I feel though they might be critical of you 
underneath the King of Swords. They might be very critical of you, and I just want you to know, keep in mind, this is showing up in the upright position, so they're really trying to structure your life. They might appear as really bossy and kind of like demeaning and kind of like condescending, just the way they are, but um, they're really trying to help you. They're trying to help you, like, shape your world so that you're not stretching yourself too thin, okay? So keep that in mind. It's all in the spirit of, like, good faith. At the same time, another way that this could play out is you're just so busy with new things. And like I mentioned, it's like um, there are going to be a lot of movements and a lot of expansion. A lot of busyness creeping up on you. You might not be able to get enough sleep, okay? But overall, um, get over the anxiety and, you know, meditate if you have to. Um, do something to get enough sleep because it's going to be a really busy second half of the month. On top of that, you might be a little clumsy too, so be really careful about that, okay? So like I said, this is this guy also is looking back. So the, the period for looking back and resolving past issues is the beginning of the month. So March 1st to the 15th, okay, the second half of the month is for you to leave this behind so you can move forward. So there's no use in looking back and be really careful about, you know, um, being clumsy as well, being too reckless, and then, you know, like I said, stretching yourself too thin and then going into situations ill-equipped to deal with the whatever that brings up, okay? So <clears throat> the last one I have is um, the Knight of Cups, which is a really, really nice energy. So for those of you who um, you know might, so for the, the women out there who might encounter like a water sign, I would say it's it's a really good, very good energy. And if it is a um, romantic situation, I feel like you're going to be almost swept off your feet. But at the same time, you're very hesitant, you're very skittish about this new person. So you're, like, um, resisting it, which is good. I, you know, like, um, it's good to be careful. <clears throat> For those of you, like, um, the males watching this, if you are in, you know, if you are interested in a... Um, in a water sign, you know, this is also a month for you to go for it, but I would definitely say do it at the end of the month, okay? Don't do anything from the 1st to the 15th because the energy is just not conducive for that, all right? So, let's see if there's anything else I've left out. Okay, so um, I just want to say, and this is coming up, so this is in a work situation, okay? Um, it's really important for you to think back if you've heard like advice from somebody in the past you know they in the past they've always given out good advice and you've never taken their advice seriously because it's one of those people that you know they just talk and they give advice unsolicited it's actually a good time for them for you now this month especially the from the first to the 15th of the month to go back and like have a second look with that person and see what they have to say because um, I feel like this man has very good, man or woman, air sign, has very good advice. And the delivery is wrong, so they're at gmail.com. The information can be found in the little box below the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to be back with uh, next week with the love reading, alright? So have a good March.